Hey Court Reporters, Charlemagne the God is officially putting his two cents into the court of public opinion when it comes to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's relationship. The Breakfast Club host has actually gone on the record to say, and I quote, that Kanye is the epitome of just because someone does something good for you doesn't mean they're good for you. Like I've said before, in regards to the streets, he's going to learn that wolves don't make great house pets. He needs to stop playing like that. Charlemagne says that he thinks that Pete Davidson is a better fit for Kim Kardashian than Kanye West. And I quote, also Kim K has been rich her whole life. She's been rich since she was born. So now she's wealthy. So what do you give to the woman who has everything? Normalcy. And that's what Pete is giving her right now. Normalcy, pizza, ice cream, and Staten Island. I think that I get what he's saying there, but at the same time, Listen, Kanye West, I think, has already proven that he's not good for Kim, that he's toxic for Kim. He's controlling, he's emotionally abusive, he's a bit of a, not a bit, he's a stalker, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I don't think that that necessarily means that Pete is good for Kim either. I think that Pete is strange, you know? I think that Pete, I don't know, like, I don't know. I feel like Pete, when they break up, because they will, they don't have enough in common, in my opinion, to have a real relationship. Um, I think that when they break up, when the PR contract ends, Pete is gonna be including Kim in some of his stand-up, and it's gonna be messy in his own right. I think that Pete did something similar when it came to his breakup with Ariana Grande. Um, and don't forget, Pete's, you know, Pete's got a lot of issues, right? Like, Pete was in and out of rehab once upon a time, so I don't think he's that far off from Kanye. I think he's a Kanye in a different suit, you know? Like Kanye West is billionaire level, you know, wild, unpredictable, uh, unstable. And I think that Pete is light rich. You know, he's rich, but he's not super rich level of all of those things. So I don't think that she's necessarily evading it all by being with Pete Davidson instead of Kanye West. I think, I, and I always said this, I think that Kim would do well with like a Van Jones type of person. You know, I just don't see her being attracted to Pete Davidson like that. Like he's just so far off from her usual type. How do you go from Reggie Bush um, to, who else did she go for after that? To Chris Humphreys, to Kanye West. She was with Nick Cannon once upon a time. I think she's been with the game to Pete Davidson. You know, um, I don't know. I think she needs to get with a white collar uh, man at the end of the day because she is currently studying to be a lawyer. She finally passed the baby bar. I think she has to pass it one more time before she can officially be a lawyer. So it would be nice for her to get with someone who is like an entertainment attorney, maybe a doctor, maybe a bank something like that you know or go the Nikki Hilton route Nikki Hilton landed a Rothschild you know like I feel like that would be nice for her at the end of the day if she wants some sense of normalcy without it being too far out of what it is that she's used to as a lifelong rich girl I don't know I could be far off and I know you guys will tell me if I'm far off so please make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat that's all for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time